break. If you're planning to travel with your pet anytime soon, as so many of us do, you'll want to listen to this story before you check into the next hotel. A woman in Glendale tells us that her cat got sick after it was bitten by a bed bug at a hotel in the valley. ABC 15's Kimberly Chang is following this story in the newsroom. Uh, Kimberly, I, I know you've been working to get to the bottom of this because she's pretty certain that this was, in fact, a bed bug problem. At least that's what she says, right? She is very certain of it, Kirk. So she tells me she checked into a Holiday Inn in Fountain Hills with her two cats. Now, after staying there for a little while, she says she started itching. Now, based on medical documents she showed me, her own doctor determined she had bed bug bites. This woman, who wanted to be identified only as Elena, shows me photos of her neck. What her doctor confirmed were bed bug bites, and she says her cat was in worse condition. Because I noticed that, you know, she was starting to, like, pull her hair and stuff and itching. She said, well, let's see, you know, in a couple of weeks if it gets any better. Um, well, within that time, it had gotten much worse. And as a matter of fact, there were, like, bald spots all throughout the cat's body and, you know, like... Uh, you know, pussy looking areas. The cat was treated and appears to be fine now, but her veterinarian tells me it had serious skin lesions, scabs, and an infection from scratching. Although she couldn't prove this was caused by bed bugs, her vet says it is a possibility. The cat had no pre existing skin conditions. But should pet owners be concerned? I spoke with Dr. Reagan Wells at the Emergency Animal Clinic in Gilbert, who has not treated this cat. She says while there is a chance a bed bug caused this cat's skin infection, but it's a very unlikely problem that uh, a dog or cat would be bitten by a bed bug. And why is that? Uh, because again, it's a problem A, in the environment, and B, the bed bugs prefer humans as the host. But after hundreds of dollars in vet bills and weeks of treatment and worry, Elena has her own advice for pet owners. Just don't take your pets to any hotel. Just, I guess, put them in a, in a kennel or take them to the vet. Now, Kirk, I spoke with the Holiday Inn in Fountain Hills, and they tell me they did not have a bed bug infestation. In fact, the Maricopa County Environmental Services Department inspected the hotel about four weeks after Elena stayed there, and they also confirmed there was no evidence of an infestation there. Okay, Kim, so we've got a couple of different sides to this story, no question about that. But if we're traveling and we want to protect our pets against bed bugs, is there anything we can do to protect our pets? Now, there is no real way to protect against bed bugs, but here's some advice from the experts. Take a look at this full screen. Dr. Wells tells me you may want to treat them for fleas and ticks ahead of time because that's a more common threat to your pets. Also, research the hotel. There's plenty of information online. Wells says bed bugs are an environmental problem. And pets get anxiety during travel, so give them extra attention to avoid them getting sick in other ways, and that's probably your best bet. In the newsroom, I'm Kimberly Chang, ABC. 15 News.